In this video, I'm going to reveal a little secret that the richest people in the world used to keep getting richer. So if you want to become like Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, there is just this one secret you need to understand fully, and that's compound interest. Some of you would have heard this term before, some of you may have not, but for those of you that know about it, how many are actually practicing it? And it's absolutely insane as to why they do not teach this simple fundamental aspect in schools. And yet for some reason, I still know what SOCATOA stands for. But rest assured, by the end of this video, I guarantee you that you will know everything to truly understand the term compound interest. And if you are as old as me and in your 30s now, you'll probably end up kicking yourself for not implementing compound interest into your life sooner. And if you are younger than me, I hope you take action immediately. And for those of you older than me, it's still not too late. Because either way, whenever you start doing this, I can guarantee you that you will be in a much better position financially. And the earlier you start, the more financial freedom you will have later down the line. Now I know some of you will be thinking, Let's just take this knowledge, use it, and keep it as a secret. But where is the fun in that when you start living a life of luxury and all of your friends and family are begging you for money? Trust me, you're much better off sharing this video with them right now so that they can grow financially with you as well. And while you're at it, it'll mean a lot to me if you could smash that like button so you can help the YouTube algorithm recommend this video to lots more people. Okay, I'm going to come clean with you. This one rule probably will not catapult you to the same level as the richest people in the world. The last measured stats of how many billionaires in the world came in at a count of 2,755 people. And when we consider that there are 7.9 billion people in the world right now, this means that only 0. 0.0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
and over a certain time period, he manages to get a 10% return. He does this consistently over the course of 20 years. Then he just decides he's going to stop doing this now. Whereas Mr. Top Hat over here, he's one of those guys who has worked in finance all these years, knows everything any textbook can teach him about compound interest. But something always comes up and he never actually starts putting any money towards his investments. At the age of 20, when the students started investing, Mr. Top Hat decided to move out from his parents' place and started renting a flat. At the age of 30, he found the girl he wanted to marry and then spent his money on the wedding. At the age of 35, he started a family and needed the money for his kids. So he continually kept having excuses that stopped him from investing until he hit 40 and a light bulb struck. And he thought, okay, I can't make any more excuses now. I'm gonna have to start investing. So he decided he needed to start putting some money away. Again, about 300 pounds a month, just like the student, therefore saving around 4,000 pounds a year. And he managed to get the same return on interest as the student did of 10% a year within a stocks and shares ISA. But Mr. Top Hat only started when he was 40, right? And so he continued to do this until he was 65, so for 25 years. That means that he actually invested for five years longer than the student, as the student stopped after 20 years of investing. So on one hand, we've got Mr. Top Hat. He saved 4,000 pounds a year for 25 years, meaning that he saved up 100,000 pounds. We have the student on the other hand on this side, who again saved up 4,000 pounds a year for 20 years, meaning he only saved up 80,000 pounds. But with both of them getting the same interest rate of 10%, who actually came out with more money at the age of 65? Well, the way I'm breaking this down, you can probably work it out already, but by starting earlier and stopping earlier, how much more of an impact has that actually made for the student? I mean, you would probably think there will be a few percent between them, maybe around 50% at the max. You might want to up that number though. It wasn't even 100% more. It wasn't even 200% more. It wasn't even 500% more. The student would have actually been just under 700% better off than Mr. Top Hat, who invested the exact same amount for five years longer than the student at exactly the same rate. The only difference was that Mr. Top Hat started 20 years later. Now those numbers almost seem like I'm lying. 700% is a ridiculous amount. Well, let's jump onto the computer screen and let me show you on a compound interest calculator just how this all works. So we go to this compound interest calculator, we'll select pounds and then our initial investment would be zero pounds for the student and we'll wanna have a 10% interest rate. We're looking at this for 20 years we're gonna be doing this. And then we're gonna be putting in 4,000 pounds on a yearly basis. And so let's calculate this. So as we can see here, within those 20 years, that student would have invested 80,000 pounds, but as we can see, the total interest that the student would have received is 163,744, which then added together comes up to 243,744. Now, if I take this amount, we take that up to the top of the calculator, we're going to still have a 10% interest and then we're going to keep this going on for another 25 years. We're then going to not be putting any more money in this in a monthly basis and if I hit calculate now we can see that now the compounding interest of this has resulted in the student having 2.9 million pounds at the time of retirement. Now if we take this the other way and we look at Mr. Top Hat he starts off with nothing in his investments. He still has a 10% interest rate. He does this for 25 years. He then has a deposit. So he puts in 4,000 pounds a year, and then we calculate that. We can see over that 25 year period, he's invested 100,000 pounds. The interest is 325,890 pounds. And when added together, that's 420,890 pounds. So this is the power of compounding that you really need to understand. You don't need to win big and get loads of money to be financially free. You just need to have some financial education and start early. The biggest driving force for doing this is to understand why you want to do this. And some people will say that the reason why they invest is so that they can buy a big house or go on a big holiday or save up for the kids' futures or even have some money for retirement. 
which are all great reasons. But ultimately, the number one reason should be for everyone to build an income for themselves. We all have our jobs where we exchange our time for money, which is all good. But that amount of income, if it's not managed properly, will not keep us going if we were to lose our jobs or you decided to retire early. This is where we need to take a leaf out of the previous video that I made around budgeting to understand where you can cut down on your spending so you can ensure that you have a fixed amount of money that you can automatically invest and forget about for a long period of time. Almost treat it as like a second tax that you need to pay, but not one that you're giving away to the government or to your favorite clothing store, but instead one that you get to keep and grow so you can one day live a life where you don't need to work in order to live. And this is where we come back to the term financial freedom, the ability to live life without worrying where you are going to get your money from in order to live it. And it's not just about saving a little bit of money every month. That money that you do end up saving will actually grow. And it will grow so much that at one point you will get to this position where the growth is more than what you need to live. Therefore, you can take a portion of this out regularly to pay for your living expenses, while the pot just continues to grow year after year. So this is why this little secret is the most important financial decision that you'll ever need to make in your life. One that people refer to as the eighth wonder of the world, compounding interest, as it literally has made millions of people financially free. But warning alert, if you do take action today and do this, you will most likely get to a point where you won't need to work ever. But this habit that you would have instilled in your life will make you want to continue to work because it is inevitable. I mean, we've all experienced this over in the last year, being in quarantine, where we get completely bored out of our minds when we don't have anything to do. So I guarantee that you will want to work. The only difference is that the work that you'll be doing at that point will not be dictated around exchanging your time for money, which would mean that you'll be exchanging your time to do something that you enjoy. And any money that you make off the back of it will just be an added benefit. So the first thing you need to do is get a pen and paper out. Or even better, if you use that spreadsheet that I showed you in the last video and calculated how much money you will have from budgeting your income and expenditure, you can then work out that golden number of what you can set aside each and every month. This can be anything. It could be a fixed number of £100 or £200. Maybe you choose to go with a percentage of your salary. Or maybe if you have used that budgeting spreadsheet, you know exactly how much money you have left over each month. And so it could be a percentage of that leftover money. Then head over to one of the links in the description down below, Trading212 or Free Trade. And if you're watching this video on the day that it comes out, Trading212 platform is still not currently taking on any new customers. But hopefully, if you're watching this video a few weeks later, they would have reopened again, as they are the ones with an absolutely free ISA account. However, Free Trade has an ISA account that only has a small fee of £3 a month. I mean, at the end of the day, if you're a student and you're following the example that I mentioned earlier, and you were charged £3 a month, you would still have been left with £2.9 million when you hit that retirement age. Or even better, here in UK, if you only plan to invest up to that £4,000 a year, why not look at a lifetime ISA? Because up to £4,000 a year, the government will also top up your account with 25% extra. So think about this. If you are putting £4,000 a year, automatically your account will be increased by 25%. So you would have £5,000. And that's a sure bet return that you'll get by using one of these accounts without even taking into consideration the compounding interest. So if we add this additional 25% boost to the student example, that student will now retire with 3.6 million pounds. Now I've set up my lifetime ISA in the platform Nutmeg. I have a referral link in the description down below as well, where if you use that link to sign up, you won't have to pay any Nutmeg fees for the first six months. And I'll do a video around Nutmeg in the near future to give you more information about it. However, if you search on YouTube, I'm sure you will find many reviews about the platform. So whatever that amount is that you have decided on, write it down and straight after this video, 
go and set up a standing order to automatically deposit that amount into the trading account that you choose and sit back and know that you have set yourself up to be financially free in the near future. That's it for today's video. I hope you truly understand the power of this amazing secret that the rich use to get richer and how you can really use the power of compounding interest to grow your savings to financial freedom, to one day live a life where you are not working for money, but your money is working for you. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, head over to the subscribe button and click on the bell button as well so you get notified when my next video comes out. And as always, make sure you like this video, comment down below and share with your friends and family. Peace and love to all of you. See you in the next video. Bye.